down for this one. According to PricewaterhouseCoopers, your employee health insurance deductible could rise to $400 or even more next year. That report also says medical costs, they're expected to increase 9%. Let's get straight to our expert panel about all of this. Andrew Rubin with NYU's Langone Medical Center and the host of Healthcare Connect on Sirius XM Doctor Radio. And also back with us, Lynette Calfati cox For months you've been telling me, you know, watch out. If you have employer-sponsored health care, you could see premiums begin to rise. They were rising with or without health care reform. But yeah, there's no, really no surprises in this PwC report. But what essentially it's saying is... From, while health costs are going up for society at large and employers, the way you try and control some of that is shift some of the costs back onto consumers, the people who actually get the health care insurance. So this PwC report basically came out and said the way to do that, higher co-pays and deductibles, higher uh, you know, health insurance premiums for employees. So more of us are going to see higher deductibles that's, for, that's our, correct. for our health care. What can we do about this? Is there anything we can do about it? I mean, we have to be saving money elsewhere in our personal budget to make sure that we're covering our costs for mm -hmm. rising health insurance That always premiums. helps to actually, you know, to help to cut back on other things that are perhaps frivolous areas of spending to deal with even unexpected events that might not even be covered beyond the co-pays and the deductibles. Um, I think you should certainly try to negotiate a little bit. If you're going to make any cash payments, we've still got tens of millions of people who are uh, uninsured as a whole. Um, you know, negotiate directly, maybe take on a billing advocate, and there are some uh, medical billing advocates out there, uh, Access Project, medical billing advocates, they will sort of decipher really? your bills for you and look through and make sure you're not, you know, charged $30 for an aspirin or double billed and those kinds do of things. Do you pay somebody to do that um, for you? Do they, how does yeah, that work? Those are, they're, but they're very low cost, and actually a lot of employers provide them as an uh, employee benefit, a very low monthly fee, but it helps to keep those costs down Absolutely, as well. and the, the big key here is, in addition to this is the plan ahead so you know you know we're giving out information we know your out-of-pocket expenses right. even though everybody thinks health care reform is going to solve all the problems in health care it's not it's going to address access issues and we're going to get a lot of people are going to have benefits that they never had before and people who can't afford it at all are going to have access as well but in fact costs are still going up and until this is fully implemented it's not going to change so again plan ahead if you know you have uh, you know higher premiums next year higher deductibles and you will start putting some money away now. If you know and you're going to be a consumer of health savings accounts as well, in terms of planning, Absolutely. Through the, a lot of employers right. offer those FSAs or flexible savings accounts. But those rules are changing you know. too, and that's something that's got some people upset, because people who are the micromanagers who plan like crazy and know exactly, well, they think of it's almost a tax cut for them, the way that they plan their... Because their you flex. put the money aside on a pre-tax basis. But those basis. are changing, and you've mentioned that before. They're, yeah. they're changing, some of the rules are changing, over-the-counter prescriptions and uh, uh, medicines can't be... I'm not going to be able, able to use my saline solution anymore to get exactly. to my, uh, my max. It, exactly. And what scary at the same time the number of employers offering high deductible plans has doubled since uh, over the past two years so in fact more employers are shifting to these high high deductible plans linked to these health savings account yet the rules are changing where we're gonna have less flexibility on how we spend those dollars Do you have to think now about how to be a consumer of health care um, because of these differences for example if you're having a baby and you know that next year you're having a baby or if you need a hip replacement and you know that next year's a year you want to do a hip replacement uh, these are the kinds of things you have to think about absolutely you should always be thinking about we talk about this all the time I'm sure Lynette thinks about this all the time too. You should always be planning ahead. You know, we're out, when we're healthy, we tend to not focus on our choices as, as it relates to choosing a health insurance plan or what you know, saving money towards health care. But in fact, it's a huge expense when 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 you need it. And the more you plan ahead, the better off you're going to be. Go get those checkups. Take a lot of preventive me measures. You know, don't skip out on those annual you know physicals and things of that nature. Do what you can. You know, reduce your risk of you know getting lung cancer, for example, by stop smoking. You know, avert tendencies towards obesity by you know eating less and hitting the gym more those kinds of things and those kinds of things that people do have control over can also help them to reduce their health and costs. apple a day sure beats a thirty dollar <laughs> aspirin right that's right all right really thanks so much andrew rubert and lynette calfani cox uh, two of the most